Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a really cool tool called Postager. I think it's pronounced Postager or Postager, something like that. And it's basically an all-in-one link building outreach tool. So you can go from zero to setting up a full link building outreach campaign without any other tools in between, which is quite a cool idea because normally, you know, you have to spend a few hundred dollars on Hunter.io to find email addresses, Ahrefs to prospect, then you have to buy an outreach tool like Mailshake or Lemlist. But with this tool, it's basically all in one. And the cool thing as well is is actually free right now. I think eventually they will start charging for this. There's no way you can run a tool like this for free. But right now, I think to get users, they're running a free campaign. So you can basically log in, sign up, set up your campaign, and it's all free right now. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to go from zero to having a full link building average campaign set up in about five minutes. It's super easy to do, and we're gonna do it all using this outreach tool. All right, so first of all, let's say you've got a URL like this, and it's ready for outreach. So it's an article, skyscraper article, ready for outreach. We're gonna take the URL, copy it like that, and then we're gonna paste it into Postager like this, and then we're gonna hit promote over here. And what that's gonna do is analyze the post and then find potential prospects that you can outreach to. So they're gonna scan through the key information and then start setting up the campaign. And as you can see, it's finding some websites to reach out to, as well as some potential email addresses. Now, you may get this error message. I think actually Postago is in beta version right now, so it's definitely not perfect. But what it will do is analyze all the websites that you can reach out to so that you can start getting back with your website. And this is pretty cool because, you know, normally you'd run this for hrefs.com, which you have to pay for monthly. It can take a little bit of tweaking and testing. And this kind of automates and streamlines the whole process for you. So scraping all the outbound links and trying to find prospects you can contact may take a couple of minutes, but once it's done, it's gonna look something like this, right? And then you're gonna see the email sequence. And this is basically a pre-written sequence of three emails that you can send to the people you want to contact. So you can see here, it's already written, like the whole email for me, it's got the title, so the subject line here, the email addresses I'm gonna contact, and the full copy. So I don't need to worry about mail merge, don't need to write anything out. I probably wouldn't use the exact same template because everyone's gonna be using it and therefore it's gonna get rinsed. But at the same time, it's an awesome way to save time, it shows you the power of the tool. And as we scroll down, you can see the email sequence. So it's gonna say, right, wait three days, send an email. Wait three days, send another email. And it's kind of smart because it saves a lot of time. And I know personally, when I've set up link building outreach campaigns, it takes so damn long. Now, anyway, once you're ready to go and start setting up your campaign, click review campaign and then type in your details here, which I'm just gonna go ahead and do now. And then click go. And that'll create the free account for you so that you can start running campaigns straight away. Now, actually, normally I'd use a G Suite account. So in the email inbox here, I'd use a G Suite account. I wouldn't use a Gmail or any sort of free account because then you'll increase your deliverability. And you can see it's got the blog domain, the name, company name, all that sort of thing. And it's already auto filled that for me. So there's not much of manual work there. I'd also recommend adding CanSpan compliance. This is really important because, you know, from a legal perspective, you want to allow people to opt out. This is so important. You can edit the text for that there. And then you can add in your address. So we're going to add that in like this. And then once you're done, click save. Now you can run a test campaign. So just click, let's go. You can scroll down, you've got all the email addresses here. Click get contacts, run a live campaign. And actually the first time you do it, you're gonna be running a test campaign just to make sure that you get it right first time. So, you know, if you're running a new campaign, you know things can go wrong, you can get the mail merge wrong, all that sort of stuff. So this basically lays it out for you and it's just a test sort of campaign. And then you can actually change the email sequence that you wanna use. So you could choose to send guest blocks, you could choose to have a share request, you know, like on social media. And these are all sort of pre-written funnels that you can use then you've got two different choices of skyscraper campaigns. So you can use humor or traditional. You can load the sequence by clicking there. And then you can preview the email copy here. And actually, if we click that up, you can edit all the text inside Postaga. So, you know, you can add the subject line. Here's what the mail merge looks like. And you can sort of preview how the email is going to look before you send it. Then you can click send. And there you go. Now, once you've done that, you can also choose, right, when do I want to schedule these campaigns for? So first of all, do I want to run it in test mode, which you can't actually do on your first campaign, but after that you can. And then you can schedule it. 
now we can get on to running our live campaign. Now, the thing to know is that uh, with Pastaga, the first time you run a campaign, it's going to be a test campaign. They won't actually let you send a live campaign just to make sure that everything goes smoothly, that you're happy with the results, that sort of thing. So that kind of makes sense. And then once you've done that, you can run a live campaign. So you've got all the email addresses here. And as you scroll down, you can set up your email sequence. So you can choose between what sort of email sequence you want to use. So let's use a mention share request, for example. And that, once you click load sequence changes here, it's going to give you basically a email funnel for you. So it's pre-written. You can see the content here, the people you're going to email address, and then you can click send test. And from there, you can also schedule. So you can choose, right, I want to launch it now, or I want to start tomorrow, that sort of thing. Um, do you want to send it on weekends? Do you want to stop on replies? So should the campaign keep sending after you receive a reply or not? And also, do you want to do it in test mode or not? And then you can click schedule like this. Now, before you actually run a live campaign, I would recommend tweaking your settings. So click on that on the left-hand side here. And from here, you can choose like your company name, your blog domain, what time zone you're in. So, you know, when you want to schedule your campaigns. And then also you can have a blacklist. So, you know, if there's websites you don't want to contact or you don't think they're worth contacting, then you can add them to this blacklist. And you can see they've already added like Google.com, Facebook, Twitter, etc. because those sort of websites are definitely not going to reply to your average campaign. And then you can add some custom merge fields. So if you're importing a CSV, you can add the custom merge fields in here. You can edit your address, can spam, that sort of thing. You can choose whether you want to be in testing mode or not. And also, if you click on APIs over here, you can see you can add a Hunter API key. So when you want to find email addresses on Postaga, it's going to limit you to about five or 10 email addresses on your first campaign. But if you add in a Hunter API key here, you know, if you're already paying for the account, then you can add that in here and it will basically help you find a lot more addresses for your campaign so that you can scale up and reach more contacts. And then also you can use a custom domain. So you can choose, right, who do I want to send to? You can set up the DNS records and then you can add a custom domain to send from. I'd recommend using that because, you know, if you set up a custom domain, it's going to look more professional and then you can send from your actual URL. So setting up your campaign is pretty much as simple as that. Now, when you're on your dashboard, you can see a list of your campaigns, your open rate, your reply rate, how many emails you've sent, that sort of thing. Obviously, I've only just set up the campaign, so my open rate and reply rates are zero right now and it's plotted on this graph. Now, it's a brand new tool. I haven't really had time to test it out properly, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like and how to use it. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want more videos on link building average, please subscribe because my tutorials and videos I post on here will help you build more backlinks your website.